Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to get multiple rows on your taskbar in Windows 11. So as you probably know, we don't have that option for Windows 11 like we did in Windows 10, where you could kind of, you know, stretch out your taskbar and have two rows showing your apps down here. All right, so to do so, we're going to be using the Windhawk program. So this is a free tool you could use to customize and tweak Windows. So how it works is once you install it, you just search for the mods you want to add to it. So you can think of mods as add-ons to the Windhawk app. So when you first install it, you'll have your home section here with any mods you've installed and any featured mods. And then you have the explore section here with some suggested mods. And you could also search for specific mods as well. All right, so to do this, we're going to need to use two mods. So the first one is called multi-row taskbar for Windows 11. So how you would find it, just go to the explore section here and do a search for that. And then you click on details and then click on install. So I already have it installed here, but it's disabled. And then the other one we're going to need is called taskbar height and icon size. And I'll show you why we need that. All right, so we have a bunch of programs open down here. So we're going to enable this one. So the catch for this is you kind of need to have your start button over on the left instead of in the middle here because it kind of messes up the way it looks. So let's do that real quick. So we'll go to personalization and then taskbar and change this to left. Okay, so now you can see everything's on the left there. And then while we're here, we're going to change this to, to never under combine taskbar and hide labels. That way we could have everything kind of stretched out to show you how it works here. All right, so now, as you can see, you have two rows, but you can kind of see they're kind of scrunched up together here, so they're kind of too close. So that's why we need this other mod here called Taskbar Height and Icon Size. So I'm going to turn that on. And we're going to go to the Details here and the Settings. So the default here was 52. Let me put it back to 52. And you can see it's still kind of scrunched up there. So you could adjust this to whatever you like. Let's say you wanted 100. Just make sure you click on save each time. And that might be a little too big. So I put it at 70. And then I have it like that. And then if we go back to this one here for the multi-row mod, you could change your rows here from two. Let's say we wanted three. But then you're going to have to come back to the other one. And maybe bump this up to something else. Like that. So that's why I said you have to have both these mods to really make this work. So you could kind of tweak the settings. So I'm going to put this back to 70. Save the settings. Go back to the multi-row mod here. Go to settings. Set this to 2, save the settings, and now we're looking pretty good. All right, so hopefully that made sense. So once again, download Windhawk and install it. So I'll put a link in the description for that. Do a search for multi-row taskbar for Windows 11, install it. Then do a search for taskbar height and icon size, install it. Go to your Windows settings for the taskbar. You can also right-click taskbar settings. And taskbar behaviors here. Change the taskbar alignment to the left. And you're probably going to want to change the combined taskbar buttons and hide labels to never. Otherwise, you're going to have rows like that. And, you, and it'll take a lot of apps before you get to the second row. So that's up to you as well. And then go into each of the mods here into the details. Changes to whatever you like. The default is two. I can't imagine you need more than two. Just make sure you uh, click on save settings each time you make a change. And then for the taskbar height and icon size, go to the details and settings. You could even change the icon size too if you, if you want to play with that. And just change this to whatever size you need to make it fit well in your situation. And then you could also play with the taskbar button with if you want to do that. All right, so like I said, it's a few steps, but it does work. So if you want to have a multi-row taskbar for Windows 11, this might be your answer. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.